You get a uh, Grant Sullivan here, director G Tech New Zealand Limited. Behind me, uh, got the latest in release of ours, the, um, the Filma E Drive. Um, this demonstrator was set up by the the Hubbard engineers in Ashburton, New Zealand. Uh, yeah, top, top guys, really smart, um, really skilled up on these E Drive systems. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is going to show you how to um, calibrate a Filma E Drive. Really simple, 45 second calibration cycle. And we'll, um, we'll drill some seed. You'll see how accurate it is. So off we go. First step, we're going to just get uh, familiar with what we've got here. We've got a um, the drive electronics, a monitor, speed control, speed switch, and run hold. This is uh, just just to make all the jig work. Tucked in behind here, we've got the motor. I'll show you what this one looks like. Super powerful motor. Um, she'll she'll take your arm off. She's is that tough. Um, you would have seen in the other videos the clutch. Flick that around that disconnects the um, the drive from the from the coulter for maintenance. Yeah, really clever stuff. Um, motor's got a so she's all sealed up, nothing poking out the back of it. Um, speed sensor built into it. Really tough. Sealed for life gearbox. Um, fully serviceable. Yeah, a real, a real asset, that those motors, they, no toys. Okay, so you've had the, uh, the rundown on how the, how the system is all sort of geared together. We'll, uh, we'll go about calibrating it. You see that there? This is our, our main screen here. So we come all the way down to set seed. Quick press the power, 10 turn. And what we'll do is when this number gets to 10, the system automatically stops. Uh, this is counting the rotations of the, of the drive motor. You can see the material coming out of the... You can see that there, coming out of the, the coulter into our scale. Really critical that we get this right down, down to the gram resolution. Almost there. Oh yeah, 466 grams, 467 grams, 467 grams, where are we, we're here, and we're going to enter that into the, uh, into here again, so you just come up to the monitor, you see that, I'll quick press power, it gets up main menu, up, 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 this is their main screen, hold down the arrow, Right here, come down to weight. We want four six seven. Right here. So calibration weight's entered. And then we're going to come down to our drilling rate. So it's ten kgs per hectare. That's pretty good. We'll, we'll leave that there. Um, just explain this bar graph here. It's the um, the safe range of operation for the motor from two RPM to ninety nine RPM. At ten kg. 10 kilometers an hour this motor will be turning 21 rpm to, to drill the seat at, at this rate so that that's fine fine in this case if we're drilling way too slow or way too fast for the motor it, it'll just let us know but in this case um this is fine it's all good so um calibration complete now we will um we'll, we'll start drilling okay so we're, we've uh, calibrated the machine what we're going to do now we're going to start drilling and it's simply um, turning on the the the, um, the speed switch here, and this is our run hold switch. When the drill's down, it's drilling. When it's up, it's not drilling. That switch can be mounted on the on the drill itself for automatic run hold, or otherwise in the cab for a drilling not drilling operation. R real real simple, no drama there. So um, over over here, I'm just going to bring you a bit closer. Up, up at our main screen, um, we've already got some area on, on the screen here. If we hold down the, the reset button, that will zero out. So just for this test to show you how accurate it is, we've got zero area. Another important thing we do is we zero out the scale, because we don't want that timing out as, as we're doing this. Okay, so we've got a our speed going on there, you see this is a magnet going past our, 
speed sensor, all this gear supplied in the kit, all the speed sensing, and we're just going to start start drilling. So the, the big digit here is the speed of the motor, the small digit is what the actual speed of the motor should be, and the computer will, <coughs> will um, move between, in, in this region to get the perfect, <coughs> the perfect drilling rate. Uh, number here is the speed of the drill, this is 5, and this black dot showing us where we are in the range of, a mo of our motor as far as what it, what it can do. So everything's looking really good here. We'll go to a bigger area meter. Um, this area, area meter goes to a thousandth of a hectare, so really, really good to see what we're, we're up to here. When this gets to 0.05 of a hectare, we expect to see 500 grams in our on our scale, that, that just works out nicely because we're drilling out um, 10 kgs per hectare. And well, oh, we'll just come over. We're going to go to 0.6 instead because we've just gone over radio right 0.6. So turn the speed off. So let's uh, see how, how we did. Um, radio down here, we should have. 600 grams, so we're just going to get the funnel which has got a bit in it to go. Okay, so we've got six, uh, 609 grams, so hang on, you're going to see that. Make sure you can see that one. Um, there we go, 609 grams for um, drilling. 0 0.060 something of a hectare. So, uh, you know, we could deduce we were doing 0 0.0609 hectares. Um, not, not, well, we could back calculate what's going on, but you see, she's pretty close. Um, and um, all in all, uh, a great system that we can go to a resolution of 0 0.1 kgs per hectare. Um, a rugged system that fits NEC drill, uh, ESC the conventional roller drill, you name it. This heavy duty motor, it, it'll it'll drive drive a lot. So um, yeah, we, we we look forward to um, uh, help, helping out with um, any any of these systems, and uh, we thank thank you for watching. Okay, cheers.